Now let's take up question number 64. It states that there are 5 blue, 8 red, 6 green and 11 white balls. Placed on a table, one ball is selected at random. The probability of selecting a red ball is out of these four options, where options are 2 upon 5, 3 upon 5, 4 upon 15 and 2 upon 3. So here we need to obtain the probability of getting a red ball. The probability of getting the red ball means number of red balls upon total number of balls. When you figure out the number of red balls that is 8 and the total number of balls is here 5 plus 8 plus 6 plus 11 that is 30. So here the probability is 8 upon 30 which could be easily reduced to the value 4 upon 15. So I get a clear answer for this question that the required probability of getting red ball is here 4 upon 15 which is in the option number 3. You can definitely mark the answer as option 3 for this question. I hope it's clear. Let's take up our next question. Here this question states if the difference between the interior and exterior angle of a regular polygon is 100 degrees then the number of diagonals of the polygon is out of these four options where options are 18, 27, 36 and 54. You know that we can obtain the number of diagonals of a polygon which is a n sided polygon using the formula n into n minus 3 whole by 2. For that you need the number of sides. We are not aware with the number of sides but here a difference between interior and exterior angle of the regular polygon is given to be 100 degrees. As we are talking about a regular polygon it has all interior angles equal and all exterior angles also equal. So, if I consider each interior angle to be x, let each interior angle be x, then it clearly implies each exterior angle will be given by 180 degrees minus x because they are lying on the same line, they are linear pair angles, right? So, each interior angle is measuring x, each exterior angle is measuring 180 degrees minus x that the difference between interior and exterior is 100 degrees. Now, we do not know whether we are talking here about the difference between interior and exterior angle in an order or exterior or interior angle in an order. For that, we will be considering both these cases. So, firstly, I am considering that from exterior angle, when interior angle is subtracted, the resultant is 100 degrees. So, when you sum simplify this equation, you get 2x is equal to 80 degrees, resulting the value of x equal to 40 degrees. That means, interior angle in this case is 40 degrees. Now, let us take up the another case, this time from interior angle, I am subtracting the exterior angle, that is x minus 180 degrees minus x this is equal to 100 degrees and when you simplify this here you obtain that 2x is equal to the value which is 280 degrees where it could be easily simplified to result the value of x as 140 degrees. Taking both these cases we can definitely obtain the number of sides. How we can get the number of sides? Here in this case the exterior angle will be given by 180 degree minus 40 degree which is equal to here and if I talk about 180 degree minus x I get this one is equal to 140 degrees and in this case when I talk about 180 degrees minus 140 degrees this is given by 40 degrees. So, here we have interior angle 40 degrees and each exterior angle measuring 140 degrees. Here we have in this case each interior angle is measuring 140 degrees and each exterior angle is measuring 40 degrees. Let us take up these two cases and try to obtain the number of sides on basis of this. You know that when we are talking about n sided regular polygon then each exterior angle is given by 360 degrees upon n. Using this formula you can obtain number of sides where number of sides will be equal to 360 degrees upon each exterior angle. 
So, let us obtain the number of sides. If I consider the number of sides is n, this will be given by 360 degrees upon 140 degrees. You can see this is simplifying to the value equal to 18 upon 7, but here in this case that is not having an integral value and number of sides will be definitely an integer greater than 3. So, in this case we cannot consider this as the number of sides is not equal to 18 upon 7. So, we will ignore this case. Now, if I consider this case here, if I take number of sides to be n, that will be 360 degrees upon 40 degrees and this reduces to the value equal to 9. So, here I am getting an integral value of number of sides. Using this, now you can easily obtain the number of diagonals, where the number of diagonals will be obtained using the formula n into n minus 3 upon 2. So, here we have 9 into 9 minus 3 whole by 2. So, this is clearly reducing to 9 into 6 that is 54 upon 2 27. So, we are talking about a polygon which is having 27 diagonals. So, out of these four options now you can clearly mark your answer that is 27. So, this is found here in option number 2. You can write your answer for this question is option 2. I hope it is clear to you. Let us take up our next question. Now, let us take up question number 66. It states that square root of 0 0.03 into 0 0.3 into a on the right hand side is equal to 0 to 0 0.3 into 0 0.03 into square root of 3b. Then cube root of a upon b is out of these four options. So, let us proceed with this. You can observe I have here square root on the left hand side. On squaring and simplifying on both the sides, I clearly get that here I have 0 0.03 into 0 0.3 into a. This is equal to 0 0.3 square into 0 0.03 square into 3b. You can easily simplify on both the sides. This term gets reduced and I get here a upon b equal to a upon b is clearly equal to 0 0.027. Next, I need to obtain cube root of a upon b and when you take cube root on both the sides, you can see the 0 0.027 is cube of 0 0.3. So, cube root of a upon b will be given by 0 0.3. This is the required answer for this question. Out of these four options, you can clearly find this one in option number 3. So, you can mark here the required answer for this question is option number 3. I hope this question is clear to you. Let us take up our next question.